Hey, y'all, y'all are tuned in with We Are Jersey Magazine. My name is Melissa, and I have here Leaky Bands from the Lower East Side. Yeah. He just released Life After Future. What's going on, Leaky Bands? Yeah, yes, sir. You already know the vibes. We in the building. We in the building. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. <laughs> what's going on? What's going on? So we have Life After Future. You just dropped that, right? Yes, sir, for surely. I That's just dropped that um, in, in April. Did I drop it? Or no? Was it April? <laughs> I don't know. I'll be dropping in May. March. March. I dropped it in we March. We're in May see? now. Okay, so it was March. So it's out there. This pandemic had me messed up. And it's got to be listened to. See, I got to check it out. It's on all platforms. So Everywhere. Let's talk about it. What was the inspiration behind it? So really, I just wanted to give them like a solid body of work for for like for everybody to remember me as a really just coming out with. I'm like, Dad, this is my first project. Everyone's gonna listen to when they look at it and they look at me. So I'm like, Dad, I gotta I gotta come heavy. I gotta come hard. I just wanted to bring that energy. So the inspiration behind that was just bringing the energy and just coming as versatile as I can. <laughs> right. Right. Most definitely. And um, I know we had touched a little basis on it earlier. You also wanted to show more so of your lyricism too, right? Yes, I definitely wanted to showcase that a lot in there. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to like, you know, show them how we can definitely bring the, the, the hip hop and the rap to this updated sound and just, you know, everybody can still make quality music. That's all I wanted to just show. Right, like like creating that bridge from like the old hip hop to the new hip hop. Definitely. Right, got you, got you. And um, what was that process like? Because you said this was your first, like you know, real body of work. What was that process like, especially as your first one? Yeah, it was crazy. Like, <laughs> like every night and day for like four or five years straight, it was just life after future. Like, soon as I wake up, I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm trying to figure out what got to go on, what's getting taken off. When are we dropping and who, who are we adding on? You know, just just making sure it's the best body of work for the people. Like I, I'm I'm real picky and choosy. Like I don't want nobody to hear some something too whack. I don't, you know. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to make sure it was at it was at its top notch for, for everybody to listen to. Most definitely, most definitely. And so let's get, you know, let's get to know you a little bit more. What's the passion behind, you know, you, that passion behind your talent, your music, what motivates you? So really just growing up in the Lower East Side being, you know, mixed up with all types of different groups and races and just all types of cultures blended in one, everything going on. Just the influence in the culture just made me want to just rap and, and just bring that lifestyle and showcase it more on so. My, my older brothers was rapping and I just seen them rapping in the kitchen one day and I just walked in, I'm like, yo, I wanna, I wanna rap with y'all. They wasn't really trying to let me get on. So I just kept, you know, kept digging them, kept getting on. They they had let me get on one time and then I just took it from there. I just was going going harder. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's also bad. I'm imagining, you know, I'm assuming you got into it, you know, cause it was the love for it, the passion for it. Definitely. And, you know, did you feel like, all right, well, now I want to eat from this. Now I'm, you know, make this like, you know, my career, my passion, like that for real. Like, what was that transition like? So really, it was just me just going to school every day. I was like, all right, I'm going to school. And then I was just getting tired of going to school. I'm like, yo, I, I'd rather, I was having so much fun staying home, recording, or just going to the studio and just doing anything involving music and just, you know, hustling with my life. So I was just like, I'm getting tired of school. So I just wanted to take music more serious, look at it from different aspects. I was just like, yo, how can I make music off of this? If I'm getting this amount of plays now, how can I get it? How can I make money off of it? All right, if we if we making money off of it, how can I do a show? If I'm doing a show, how can I get a feature? How can I go on the road? Or like, I was just always thinking how and how to improve, how to get better. And I, and I still think that how to, how to improve, how to get better, how can we get further? Right. And, you know, that's something, especially as an artist, but you always want to look at, you know, your progression. How would you say, Definitely. you know, your progression has been or how has it changed from, you know, start to today? For surely. That's number one key. Mm -hmm. So how has it changed from, you know, from then to today? <laughs> so really, it changed a lot. Like, 
I remember I remember having to go actually go out there and sell my tickets, have to walk around the whole Lower East Side of Manhattan with a handful of tickets. Like, yo, I'm selling tickets for $15 a pop in Queens, New York. Like, it's 45 minutes away. You got to come over here. They're going to pay you $5 for a coat check. Come see me, you know? Yeah. And just having people walk off or, or a few people buy some tickets to, to show some love. To now, like, me actually buying out the venue and, and controlling the whole the whole ticket and, and making people actually open up for me or people having to sell tickets for to actually perform for me so it's like just that elevation and that growth is like it's like crazy for me it's, yeah. it's hard to even express I can't find words for it I'm speechless <laughs> no, I bet I can only imagine especially you know not to the platform that you are now but um you know successes have you you know personally achieved along your journey like you know, what concerts have you had? I know you even mentioned um, being part of a movie. Yeah. What concerts have you, you know? So had. really, yeah. I said, we we done sold out shows in, in SOBs with uh, Roddy Rich. We, like, it's just expand, like, like from all over around. Like, it's, it's just so much that I can speak about. It's just, I'm just a part of a lot of things. I just like to do more than I talk. I don't, I don't, like, I can't even, I wouldn't even know where to start, but I've definitely accomplished a lot. And I, I feel like it, it's nonstop. Like, I, I don't want to stop. Right, right. <laughs> I'm just like, how can I do more? How can I, you know, get more people? How can I wake more people up? And like, I just want to spread my energy into, into this environment, into the world and just do it I, when I'm placed on this God's green earth for. Of course, that's what life is, you know, to just fulfill yeah, our <laughs> Definitely. So I'm just I'm just out here living out my purpose. That's it. So speaking of which, you know, we also did speak a little basis on this earlier. Um, how would you define success then? Well, really, I would define success about how everyone could everyone could determine it differently. But I would really tell everyone to just determine success on your gen your, your general goal like you know your, your general goal in life like living out your ultimate dreams like whatever you dream about in your head whatever you whatever ideas you have in your mind bringing them out into real real life and reality that's it, that's that's success right there. there's nothing bigger than that right it's nothing bigger than that like like for me to actually say hey i want to i'm a fan of like i was a fan of pnb rock and, and when he reached out to work with me i'm like dag like this is too good to be true like you, you understand what i'm trying to say like that's a method of success to me it's like damn i listen to your music now you're reaching out to work it's like yo damn this is we had we get it's getting at a whole nother level now i'm right. clearly putting in some type of work if you're so it's like I, I i tell everyone like determine success about whatever you feel in, in your heart and your spirit like that's that's the most success really mind body and soul as long as your mind body and soul is happy that's success it's nothing bigger than it. Most definitely. And so speaking on which, um, I also, we also spoke on how we can be expecting a little bit more for the lady listeners, right? Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. I got, a lot, I got a lot of that coming for y'all, definitely. <laughs> what else um, can we expect coming from you? So... I don't want to, I don't, I don't know if I can say this. I don't, I don't want to throw it out there, <laughs> but I'm going to just say this. I got this Chris Brown record that I'm working on and I'm trying to make that I'm trying to make crazy. <laughs> Cause okay. that's, that's another, like, that's a, that's a dream come true for me. And y'all heard it here first. Okay. When we are just, yeah. okay. <laughs> I, I used to be, you know, I used to be in, in my room over here dancing the wall to wall. <laughs> So that's right. like a, that's like a dream come true, and I'm definitely trying to I'm trying to re, I'm trying to get my management to reach out to uh Jack Quees and them team. Hopefully we get a response. I'm trying to get Jack Quees on the next project. That'd be like, dope. That'd be dope. Yeah, I'm trying to get him on the next project. I feel like that's he he's the for for our era and our day and age. I feel like Jack Quees is definitely the king of R and B, and people don't be wanting to give him his respect. I'm gonna give him his roses while he's here. <laughs> right right as you should as you should for real. as you should no so that's a lot of exciting things to you know look forward to you know blessings on yeah, the definitely. wall definitely so just other than that i'm just you know just working on me working on my life my family i'm, I'm welcoming uh, a baby i'm having a daughter so i'm just like congratulations yeah i'm trying to you know 
focusing on myself and family and just trying to trying to make the best of life, really. And on that note, what would your message be then that you would like to share through your gift? So really, I'll tell everybody in the world to live out your ultimate dreams. Like, you ain't doing it if you ain't living out your head. Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> For real. I, I got a little problem message. No, but for real, for real. Like, and that's it, period. You're not. Like, you're not. Yes, so I'm going to just remind y'all again that Life After Future is out now and is on, on all, all platforms. platforms. Let's go. All of them. So check them out. Y'all could check Leaky Bands out also on Instagram through Lil Italy. That's his name on IG. And on Twitter, it is Leaky Bands. Leaky, cool. Thank you for staying here with me. Thank you for chit chatting with me. I, I appreciate you for having me. Before. And everybody, y'all heard it here live with me, Melissa. This is We Are Jersey Magazine. Again, this is Leaky Bands. Go! Cool. You already know the energy. Stay up, Melissa. We are Jersey. We are Jersey. We are Jersey. We are Jersey. We are Jersey.